Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so may the Lord Jesus Christ keep kicking butt all over the universe, all over this earth, and stamping his authority. And here, uh, what else? Um, another fun, challenging integral. Now, um, for integrals of this sort, I showed you a general solution in a previous video and what is called the power reduction formula. So I showed you how to deal with um, integrals of the form sine to the power n dx, right? And so you can watch that video and apply this said power reduction formula. But because n here is small enough, uh, we can manage without the power reduction formula. So this is what we're going to do. And this is um, a good thing to do if you have the third power of any of the trig functions, which is um, to split it into the first power times the second power, which is <laughs> the way we have to split it, right? Like, okay, but, but, but you want to go in this direction, whether it's sine, cosine, or the other trig uh, functions, because we have what are called the Pythagorean identities of trigonometry. Let's say, for example, that sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. And so you can use them to substitute um, in the squared part. Um, so, so, so here, what you want to do is, from what I just said, the Pythagorean identity of trigonometry, sine squared x plus cosine squared x uh, is equal to 1, it follows that um, sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cosine squared x. Now, as I said, if we had had um, secant cubed, you'd want to move in this direction, right? It is secant x times secant squared, because again, you can find a substitution for secant squared, which, uh, as a reminder, um, at the risk of digressing, is 1 plus tan squared. All right, so you want to move in this direction. But let's stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. OK, um, so, so what's that? Um, that that is that sine squared is 1 minus cosine squared. So this here, we can replace with 1 minus cosine squared x. Now, distributing this sine x and uh, forming two integrals thereafter is a tempting move. But notice that we can do substitution here. We suspect that we can do substitution. Because if we let um, u equal cos x, then du would be negative sine x um, dx. Uh, don't like my writing there. Negative sine x um, dx. Um, someone said that I have like great handwriting uh, recently. Fetching for compliments? No, no, no. There are a lot of people like on YouTube doing math videos that have amazing handwriting. So, um, yeah. Um, I suppose the Lord knew one day we would all be making math videos on YouTube. No, um, hardly. Like, I don't think math videos are the most popular um, category of videos on YouTube. Hardly. But there's a lot of them, um, with that said. OK, so, so, so this substitution would work out this way. So then we go ah, sine x, right? That's this times 1 minus u squared, and dx, which is du over negative sine x, the negative I'll put right here. So du over sine x is going to help us take care of this guy. Ah, how nice. Because then, I'll just keep the fact that we said u is cos x, everything else I could erase. Because then, what we have is our integral is uh, the integral, negative integral of 1 minus, uh, sorry guys, 1 minus u squared, and then du. Now, if I distribute this minus sign inside of that there, then I could write u squared minus 1 du, and I don't have to write a negative sign right there, yeah? Now, this is simple. It's u cubed over 3 uh, minus u plus c, but u e is cosine, so we say cosine cubed x over 3 minus cos x plus c. See? This wasn't so bad, right? 